What's going on guys? This is TVW slash The Volt Within here and I'm bringing you guys a track review of Breaking Benjamin's new song Red Cold River. Now I've been a Breaking Benjamin fan since like five, six years ago when, you know, I was just starting to listen to more hard rock metal and even alternative metal here and there and stuff like that. And I've been following them for a great amount of time, as well as kind of keeping up with their newest stuff that came out in the past few years. Now, before I go into the song, or Red Cold River, I kind of want to talk about Dark Before Dawn, their previous album that came out. And I'm actually a fan of their previous album. A lot of people kind of thought that that album was too, was too soft. I mean, like, it was just too light for them. And the way I looked at it was, it was more of a lighter album, really. I mean, and you can see that Red Cold River was more of a darker approach, as you can see, especially when you watch the music video. And man, once I was watching the music video, I was like, man, that's deep. Like, the message was like, very heavy. <laughs> like, and just, I'm all about narrative. So like, it's, when I see like music videos being like, towards a narrative style, because most music videos now these days is all performance or like lyrical videos now. And it's just kind of nice to see some narrative on music videos. So anyways, I have to say that this song is very heavy as you would might want to think from Breaking Benjamin. They've always been pretty consistent over the past few years. I've never really had any album that I was like, meh, it, this isn't their best work. And you know, I'm a big fan of Alter Bridge too. And I think every album is just like different and just it's so good like you, you can't really judge each album because they're all different and if you were to categorize it from genre or like style or concept or theme I think it would be kind of unfair to do it that way but the way where I was listening to the song it just felt good like it felt fresh to me when I was first listening to it and shout outs to my friend Chris AK Jammer you probably heard from him on one of the podcasts I've done on this channel, but he kind of hooked me up with uh, some nice Seven Dust stuff because I haven't really listened to Seven Dust, but um, he also turned me on to some of Breaking Benjamin's new stuff as well as making me hear one of the newest albums, or not the newest, but the previous album, Dark Before Dawn. So he kind of made me or made me kind of follow up with Breaking Benjamin again because I didn't really listen to them for a good amount of time and then I'm just now back at it again listening to them. But Red Cold River definitely was a dark song that I've loved to hear from them and especially like some of their stuff has been dark as always and that's kind of why I always liked Frank and Benjamin because they just have a good mix of like uplifting songs yet they do not shift away from writing songs that just hit you hard with like darkness and pain and just everything in the like darkness like that theme i really love when bands just write about evil or just like death or suffering or lost i don't know there's just something about it that really resonates with me as a listener because i i am a musician to myself so it's just kind of nice to hear bands that are continuing to write about those things because i think as a band it's really important to you know kind of live your experience as well but at the same time like don't be afraid to talk about you know death and stuff like that because i don't know to me when bands just always stay like happy for like every album or like this is a happy album like it just kind of seems unrealistic and they're not really showing their true colors because you know as a band you kind of want to express all that emotion that's coming out from your experiences but anyway so yeah, I love this song a lot. I don't think I like love it, love it compared to like all their other songs, but it's definitely a nice solid song single that, that that came out from this new album that's coming out. I will say like the drums were just kind of, I don't know what it was, but like maybe I'm just crazy. But for some reason, like the drums just kind of sound a little bit like not as, not as I was wanting to hear it. I don't know if it's just because my ears fixed to the hear of like beating drums with a drum kit, especially with the, the drum pedal or the drum bass, I should say. And I know Breaking Benjamin is not about like all the double stop stuff with like drums and stuff like that. But I just kind of thought the drums could have been mixed better. But again, that's not really, <laughs> that's not really a problem with the song. That was just something I kind of noticed. It's kind of like with the Avenged Sevenfolds album that just came out recently like the drums 
as good as the drummer was, like, it just wasn't mixed well. Like, so I kind of was like, man, you're not showing, like, his true potential with, like, this mixing. Like, it's not giving him justice at all. But, again, that's just an opinion. But I think if I want to look at it with, like, the music video sense and the overall message, I think that's, like, why I love Breaking Benjamin a lot. Because, like I said, they're just really about narrative and, like, telling stories and stuff like that. And people can argue like Ben was probably, he probably had this idea lying around in previous albums because a lot of people were saying like, oh, this sounds like from the second album or, oh, this sounds like from like the third album or just an idea just was never released or may have been considered a B-side or something. But I thought it didn't feel like a B-side at all. I think, yeah, it was kind of an idea that Ben probably had in the previous years and then just kind of cleaned up and like mastered it completely as they came back to it but that's not really a problem for me like you kind of want ideas that are just kind of there even in the previous years to still come back to if you're struggling to you know write a new song and stuff like that but anyways guys i just kind of wanted to let you guys know what my thoughts were and if i were to give it a rating i guess my scale would be out of 10 i would probably give it a 8 out of 10 yeah an 8 out of 10 it's pretty decent pretty good song and it's really nice to hear like screams every now every once in a while from breaking benjamin because i am a fan of ben's screams so that was pretty cool to hear it a lot in this song so yeah leave in the comments down below what you guys think and if you're really into track view song stuff or music stuff as well as video games um, come subscribe to this channel and leave a like on this video if you liked it and as always guys I will see you guys on the next video